trucks yeah it's actually good surprisingly good obviously there's going to be a lot of comparisons to christine another stephen king adaptation I, however i can't comment on christine yet because i've seen like half that movie on tv and so far what i've seen of christine was good but i actually haven't seen the whole movie yet again so i can't comment that. but this stephen king adaptation trucks I was like, okay, how dumb is this movie going to be? Because a movie about a killer car, again, back in like 81 or 83, right? That Christine came out. This movie, it's kind of the same, but with the, you know, big trucks. And then like truck driver, like vehicle, you know? And I guess that can be scary. Then whatever car, I'm, I'm, I'm not a big car guy or truck guy, but obviously that car in Christine, to me at least, wasn't as terrifying as this big ass truck or any big truck that this so-called ghost or spirit was driving or whatever, possessing cars. And again, no, there's no memorable characters they're all the all the characters in the movies play their parts they did fine the drive thing i'm still wondering how they like shot the truck or even christine how they drove the car by itself i'm assuming again i'm not really i don't know much about the you know the industry i just like watching movies but i don't really look up how things are shot but i'm assuming there's like they built a car on top of this truck car and they just drove it like under like where the people can't see it that's what i'm assuming or maybe they just did it by like re remote control like an arc cxd or whatever but it was cool i was like the whole time i was like well how are they shooting this this looks you know pretty cool there's even one scene where this spirit or ghost possesses like this um like suit this white suit looks pretty cool and then kills the drivers but that scene i was like oh hey you know what that's a that's a really good practical effect because they're like inflating the suit and then you know obviously they're having someone in there but we obviously don't see that and he just comes and just kills another person that was really neat I do find it funny though that the the ending where everyone gets rescued is by helicopter again i don't want to like keep refer referencing resident evil or anything but i just immediately thought of resident evil like in re1 re5 they're getting rescued by this helicopter and this driving very fast however we're also very slow in certain shots comes in just kind of beat itself oh that was funny it was fun but i don't know i really don't know what else to say i mean watch this movie i would recommend people to watch this movie it is like again good it's not you're not gonna be mind blown or anything you're not gonna be like oh this is the best Stephen king adaptation movie it's probably like it the the it remake or something like that this is just a good time and middle of the road movie for, at least for me it really it doesn't do much for me but it's also a fun to watch i will give it that because knowing what you know because the truck just crashes to anyone which is a thought when you're on the road granted i haven't got my license yet but it doesn't matter it's, it's scary thinking that you know anyone I, I, i'm assuming that's what this movie's trying to i guess tell us pulling shit out of my ass right now but be scared of everything you know just be scared of the road and the cars i don't know what the fuck i'm saying movie's good watch it okay it's not the best Stephen King adaptation fucking watch it next up october 15 day 15 will be the bone snatcher another movie on youtube free on youtube poster looks cool it seems to be in the desert hoping it's good